Welcome to Oktoberfest without the tourists, the Rosenheimer Herbstfest. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, uh, look at the festival! Hey! So we've made a pretty bold claim, Oktoberfest without the tourists. Well, how is that possible? It's not, I kind of lied a little bit. Not about the lack of tourists, that's true, but about Oktoberfest. So before we get going, I think I should clear things up. There is one and only one Oktoberfest in the whole world, and that is the one here in our city, Munich. Anything else is merely piggybacking on the absolute legacy and wonderful branding that this festival has. However, what a lot of people seem to forget or maybe never fully realize is that Bavaria is alive with the sound of festivals all autumn long. Fall festivals, if you will. Many of them incredibly similar to Oktoberfest, but with far fewer international tourists and a bigger focus on tradition, which is exactly what I want to show you today by taking you to Rosenheim's Herbstfest or as their marketing department might say, the friendly Oktoberfest. Now, naturally, I'm gonna be taking you there by public transportation, so let's go to the Munich Hauptbahnhof, get our Bayern ticket, and board the train to Salzburg. Don't worry, Rosenheim is a stop along the way. A fantastic ride as always, which is to be expected on the BRV to Salzburg, though this is a bit of a special treat as usually I'd ride it the whole way, whereas today we've gotten off at Rosenheim, a town I have never shown you on this channel before. In fact, it even marks a bit of a double special occasion because this marks the very first time I have ever worn my Trachten on the train, combining my two favorite loves, formal shorts and the railway. Now to actually get to the Rosenheim Festival Grounds, well, when you've arrived by train, which you definitely need to be, you are going to need to take a 15 minute walk through the Rosenheim Altstadt, as yeah, the train station and the festival ground are on opposite sides of the town. But luckily, Rosenheim's not that big, so it'll only be about 15 minutes. And what a beautiful 15 minutes it will be. Plus, I find you should always go on a little bit of a walk before you start drinking. I mean, who wants to go from sitting on a train to sitting in a tent? Not me. Need to move around a little bit. Nothing quite like passing through the gates and entering the actual festival grounds. Like, this is a lot more than I had expected. First impressions, this festival is incredible, if not really loud and chaotic. So part of the audio quality in this video, guys, I'm going to be shouting a lot. I mean, just look at how much there is to explore. I'm already so excited. It's going to take a long time to see everything. All right, this is pretty momentous. This is the first time I've entered a proper Volksfest tent in years. Oh, I have missed this so much. I mean, if you haven't dressed up to come to one of these bad boys, I don't know if you've lived. like a locals Oktoberfest, if you will. It's all about having a fall festival. Same vibe, less international tourists. It's also probably worth pointing out now that we've finally arrived that the whole Tracht in the Dirndl, the Lederhosen, you know, you often get the impression from Americans, especially that it's like a silly outfit and a spot of fun, but no, out here, it's serious business. This was so nice. She complimented our German and told us a little Irish word for guten appetit. It was so cute. I mean, she was really busy, so she didn't have to do that. That was really nice. I am so hungry. I've been waiting for this all day. I skipped breakfast. Let's try it. I got a Ramschwamme, then got some Semmelknödel. And I think what's really awesome about going to these beer festivals is even the vegetarian food is really, really good. Often people don't show it because it's not as famous and over the top as like a giant pork knuckle. But I really love Ramschwamme, Käsespätzl, Knödel. They're all really good. So let's try this one.
That's really good. I haven't had a rum schrammel that good in a while. A lot of times rum schrammel can taste a little bit bland, but this one is so hearty and kind of meaty tasting. It pairs really well with a liter of beer. Man, this song is an absolute banger. That was incredible. Just as good as I remember, if not better. I mean, the atmosphere, the food, the drink, the people, you cannot beat going to one of these festivals. And I think there's something special about doing one of the more local ones as well, and not just the massive Oktoberfest. There's a lot more to love. You just need to exit Munich to find it. And even though these Hebs Fest, the fall festivals, I mean, they do center a lot around beer. What's also important to remember is there's a massive focus on just rides, sweets, and fun. I mean, it may come off as surprising to many Americans, but these beer festivals are family friendly, at least during the day. However, now that I have officially had my fill, how about we explore what the rest of this festival has to offer, in particular, the rides and the sweets. Now, anyone who's been a fan of the channel for more than five minutes knows that I do not like heights, but if the noise and the sheer chaos of that crowd is getting to you, then the Ferris wheel is a good option to escape it. <laughs> I will say that's one tick in Rosenheim's box over Munich. When you ride the rides out here, you can see the mountains. That's just really cool. That was wonderful, if not over a little bit too quick, because now, back into the crowds. No, I don't know about this, guys, but I really want to participate in some of the games now. There's something about having a liter of beer that makes me really feel like I could shoot a gun. Maybe you Americans can relate. Probably gonna miss everything, but there's only one way to find out. Ah, I am trash. But you gotta, you gotta try. Ah. I don't like that when you hit the metal. Hey! Yeah, this is the last one. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. And you said I'd win nothing. They even have my favorite roller coaster, Wilde Mouse. Or, as I used to know it when I was a kid, Crazy Mouse. Kunden wir zwei Erwachsene haben, ja? Vielen Dank. Now the tickets are kind of expensive. For safety's sake, we've had to switch to the GoPro so we can take you along. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so scary, but I really do. Build a mouse! <laughs> Mountains look so beautiful from up here. Oh, this is going faster than I remember. I just want to enjoy the majesty of the mountains. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, look at the festival! Oh god, no! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, it's over! <laughs> okay. Wait. That ride has no right to be that good. It's so much fun. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a staple of any good county fair in America or in Germany. It doesn't matter. Builder Mouse is fantastic. It's just so nice being back out in a festival again. Now, after all that excitement though, I think it's time for our final festival staple, something sweet. And I can only mean candied nuts, specifically candied almonds. Now, what kind of beer fest would this be if I didn't get some candied almonds? I used to get these all the time with my German Alma, so I'm really excited to keep up the tradition and keep getting them at every festival we go to. And this festival is no exception. So let's see how they taste. I mean, I don't really know what you guys want me to say. These are really, really good. 
would recommend. This is the first time I've had these candied almonds that don't have like a hard coating of sugar on the outside. The sugar on the outside is very soft. It's, it's kind of a different sort of mouthfeel than I'm used to. Really like it though. And now, as we exit through the same tour that we entered through what feels like only moments ago, but was in reality hours ago, I think we finally need to call it quits on this video. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. And do stick around, because if you're interested in German festival content, well, do we have the next few months for you sorted out. Between the fantastic medieval festival that we just went to, Oktoberfest, which is going on right now, and of course, Christmas markets in a few months, you know that you're gonna need to... Like, like comment, and subscribe! And we'll see you in the next video, wherever that might be. Woo!